well, Elon sends rockets to Mars to set up the first civilization there, we will get really good at atmospheric engineering here to make the carrying capacity of Earth higher. And by the time you have like a bubble city on Mars that's self-sufficient and they start melting the ice caps on Mars to create an atmosphere there, we will be good enough at atmospheric engineering here on Earth such that we can start to distribute the water the way that we want to on other on, on Mars. Now that's like really towards the end of my life, my son will probably be the one responsible for that rather than me. Um, but but that's the time scale that I'm thinking. Wow, about. you've really played this out. You're thinking real long term. Yeah, you know, I think that people used to think more like that. Um, like there's that old adage, um, something like like a, a city grows great when men plant trees under the shade of which they will never sit or something like that, right? Like um, I think that if you are a Christian and you think about like helping build the kingdom of God, um, if you are a patriot and you want your nation to survive and persist and for future Americans to be better off than, than any previous generation, uh, like you should sort of sacrifice your life, um, not necessarily like die, right? But you should probably live your life in service to those future people. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. Being a that's a, that's interesting. You know, being a Christian, do you, do you feel that you are playing God in any in any sense to create weather conditions? Um, I'm trying to serve God, um, and and so what I mean by that is in Genesis one twenty six through twenty eight, right, very beginning of time, Garden of Eden, pre fall. God gives us the mandate like he commands us to take dominion over and steward the earth, the seas, the skies, and everything therein, right? And so what that meant then was tending to the garden, right? Like taking care of the plants, taking care of the animals. Um, the way that we've done that more and more over time is with technology and engineering, right? Like we have lights so that we can work safely at night. Um, we have uh, fire, which like is a technology so that we can cook our food or defend ourselves from like wild animals. Uh, we built dams so that we could redirect the natural flow of rivers, like the ones that God designed, for the sake of storing water to live in cities and feed people. Um, and so I, I think that even though cloud seeding does have to do with the sky, which feels like heaven, and thus feels closer to God for some reason, um, it really just is another instantiation of like the mandate that God gave us to be good stewards of the planet. And so, um, do I think I'm playing God? No. Do I think the technology is sick? Yeah. 